Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about the fiber to fabric in detail. So start the intro of the fiber. Okay. Fibers can be obtained from both plants and animals. Some family in plants sources are cotton, jute and linen. Okay. Some well known animals sources of fibers are sheep, goat, camel, alpaca, llama. Okay, here are the some insects. If we treat insect as different from animals, in the silkworm can be classified as an insect source of fiber. In this lesson, we learn about an animal fiber, namely the wool, in detail. Okay, the objectives. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to list the characteristics of wool, describe sheep wool, list the animals that yield wool, describe the process of obtaining wool from sheep, explain the processing of fibers into wool. Okay, characteristics of wool. Wool is a protein fiber. Wool is crimped and elastic. Crimp makes wool more bulky, wool retain heat because it is hollow, it absorbs moisture and sound, it is normally creamy white in color, in other words it can be uh, brown, black or silver in color, it is hypoallergenic, it, uh, this means uh, it causes fever and allergy in human beings, okay, the main sources of wool is sheep, the wool yielding animal bears a thick coat of hair on its body. Okay, the hair trap air since the air is poor conductor of heat. The hair keeps the animal warm and dry. The hairy skin of the sheep has two types of fiber, the coarse beard hair and the fine soft hair close to the skin. The fine hair provides for making woolen clothes and the coarse hair provides for making carpets as you can see. The picture of carpet okay so some animals other than sheep also ill the wool they are yak okay yak is common in Tibet and Ladakh okay and the angora goat is found in hilly regions such as Jammu and Kashmir the wool obtained from it is called angora wool okay now the Kashmiri goat the wool obtained from it is very soft and it is used to weaving uh, fine soles. Okay, these soles are popular as pashmina sol in India. Camel, camel, uh, the fur of uh, on the body of the camel is also used as wool. Llama and alpaca, in the these are the found in the South America. They yield wool. Okay. So, for the wool to be good of quality, sheep need to feed nutrition, nutritious diet. Okay, apart from what they get from grazing, they have to food uh, a mixture of pulses, corns, and jaw. The sheep so rare develop a thick growth of hair. The this hair is known as the fleece of the sheep and provide us wool. Okay. So the processing of wool, removal of flesh from the body of the sheep along with a thin layer of skin using a machine is called shearing. Okay, shearing does not hurt the sheep uh, because this is uh, the uppermost layer of the sheep skin is dead. Usually hair is removed during the hot uh, weather. This enables sheep to survive without their protective coat of hair. Okay. So this is the process of scoring and the next is the hairy skin is sent to be a factory for sorting according to texture okay small fluffy fibers called burrs are removed fibers are dyed in various color uh, because uh, as the natural fleece of sheep and goat is black and brown 
or white in color the fiber are straightened and rolled into yarn and the finally wool is ready to use okay so the summary of this chapter is let us summarize what we have learned wool is an animal fiber it is obtained from sheep goat yak camel paka and llama okay wool is a protein fiber it is cramped and elastic removal of flesh from the body of sheep using a machine is called shearing washing the fleece to remove grease dirt and dust is called scoring so class this is the summary of this chapter thank you have a nice day